Hello Lieutenants and welcome in part 16 of the Chilean Empire series. Today we continue our campaign. Today we continue defending South America which is the empire of Chile. Yet we are suffering against the European coalition as they are launching counterattacks from all the sides. And today's video is going to be about the Ukrainian German counter offensive. These guys are restless. These guys do not want to lose. They do not want to surrender. Yet they every time they launch a counterattack on me. Now in United Kingdom I'm suffering there. A lot of nuclear ballistic missile that I lost all of my land forces there. Here Ukraine came to the help of his ally Germany and he took Amsterdam and he killed my land forces of course. Now I'm trying to bombard his uh, uh, tank division there with my cruisers. At the same time I'm taking my precautions against an imminent French, French uh, invasion from the north. At the same time here our cruisers they are detecting few uh, Ukrainian ships that are crossing the Atlantic Ocean. From the notifications we saw that our cruisers have been wiped out. He uh, break two uh, intersections and he passed through them. From the notifications we located that. Now we need to spam more cruisers to fortify our naval defenses. At the same time I'm spamming cruise missiles and strikers because the strikers they are going to help me to uh, intercept any land forces that are going to sneak around South America. And the cruise missiles they are going to help me in the naval battle. I can launch them from my naval patrol aircrafts and also I can launch them from my cruisers. I'm gonna fix here my uh, level 4 naval base. They destroyed it with their uh, agent, the sabotage agent. At the same time, I'm going to build some uh, multi rocket launches. I'm actually suffering with the uh, electronics. I'm not going to be able to make all of these units because they consume a lot of electronics and our electronics production is not so good. Let's also make some anti-missiles because now uh, we know that they have a lot of ballistic missiles and uh, also crews. So in this case, we are going to need more anti-missiles to defend our capital, etc. Because if they have ballistic missiles, then 100% they are able to make intercontinental ballistic missiles. After all, we are in day uh, 54 and uh, it's uh, possible that everyone is going to have nuclear firepower there. They took the most important island in the game the island of Azores that we used as the base of our operations. I'm going to launch one uh, conventional warhead here on um, Amsterdam. I have that one stack, I can launch two missiles from it. And I'm waiting for my other stack to arrive. Meanwhile, I'm going to take some uh, surrounding provinces here near Manchester and uh, Edinburgh. It's just uh, an annoying movement here to see where they are going to come from. When they are going to see my National Guards roaming in the United Kingdom, they are going to be revealed and they will take action. When they are going to take action, at least I can locate their air bases and uh, from where they are launching ballistic missiles. This is Ukraine with the level 4 uh, naval bases, level 3 air bases. Those air level 3 air bases, 100%, they can be naval strikers or maybe uh, heavy bombers or naval patrol aircraft. We will see. We will see what. Uh, Ukraine have in his pocket. Let's send one cruiser here near Azores. I need to retrieve this island as soon as possible because it's very important for us to give uh, air cover for my cruisers and uh, help them against uh, submarines, etc. Oh, German, German Navy? Man, how many lives does Germany have? Like seriously, he killed our cruiser. How many ships? Germany have. I wiped like 100% of his navies and he still brings us more and more ships. I literally destroyed all of his coastal cities from where he is getting those ships, where they were. Oh god, Germany is making this game a nightmare for us. He's going to make it a nightmare for us. Okay, I'm going now to send my stack of cruisers there and uh, I don't know actually what is his task force. It's cruisers. I have the cruise missiles now. Okay, 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 look at that, look at that. Germany is here, in our coasts, with more ships. Deal with it. Just deal with it. 
This dude is a cat with seven lives. He doesn't die. You can see in front of you that I already killed a lot of his units, a lot of his ships, yet he still have more and more units. Literally, I'm enjoying this battle because Germany is putting an amazing fight here and it's becoming the best series I've ever made, to be honest, because it's very hard. I'm really suffering here and um, these guys, these guys are playing very good, to be honest, yeah. Look, he also sent some uh, motorized infantry to start taking my uh, next series. Now he nuked my city of, um, my coastal city there in, uh, in uh, Colombia. He nuked it and now he is bombarding it with his ships. This is our invasion of Cuba that we started in the last episode. We wanted to invade uh, Cuba to stop the expansion of uh, France in North America. These are my naval patrol aircraft there. I'm going to send them back. We are on alert now because our nation is under attack now officially that Germany, he have uh, ships near us and also he killed that stack of four cruisers in the English Channel. Every time I go to sleep, I open in the morning and I find I lost my armies. Like every time, every day, I wake up in the morning and I find my navy is dead or my infantry are dead or I don't know. Looks like these guys know my sleeping time and they use it to uh, launch counterattacks and they attack me back. Like this is uh, this is outrageous here. This is amazing. To be honest, in conflict of nations, it's very very important to know when your opponent and your enemy is going to sleep because when he is sleeping he's not going to play and he is offline you can literally use the hit and run on him and you can wipe out all of his navies there the good thing here that I really noticed with uh, the European team especially Germany that when I started the invasion of Ukraine, uh, of uh, the United Kingdom, he helped his ally. He did not hesitate to attack me and help his ally. Yes, he couldn't save the United Kingdom as I destroyed him, yet he helped him. And now uh, he started... Like seriously, Patagonia is a very poor nation. Very poor. Whoever wants to attack Chile, he starts attacking from Patagonia. It's the most perfect place to start an invasion. First United Kingdom and now Deutschland. And he is attacking us with max level motorized infantry and max level tank destroyers. He doesn't have Ontier here, but he might have frigates there. But I'm going to send my strikers. Uh, strikers are going to be enough to kill those units because he doesn't have Ontier. But this is very annoying. Now uh, I really expected this that the Europeans are going to uh, send scattered units, scattered land armies from all the sides to start taking lands and like keep me busy because if you want to keep your enemy busy and defend your uh, defend your homeland cities, you should send a counterattack. Where is my NPA here? Where did they go? Like there is a radar, but my airplanes they are not here. You see, I have nothing now in Europe, only few national guards. I lost my navies, I lost my land armies, I lost everything. This is like a desperate attack. I know that these national guards, they are going today to die. They are going to die. Well, I also need to annoy them as well like, and keep them busy in their homeland cities. Oh god, this game is getting more and more intense and here we are using all of our reserves, all of our ships, all of our resources. Now, seriously, I'm starting to get exhausted because uh, I'm getting overwhelmed by these uh, nations, by uh, the European coalition of five nations. Yes, France did not participate in the war yet, but when he is going to participate, I think it's going to be the checkmate. I hope he does not participate in this war and we have a chance to fight back. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We meet in the next one and we shall see what will happen in the Chilean Empire series. See you guys and bye bye.